the discussion that Obama has had, President Obama has had, with regard to the public option is not a public option. It is a mandate for government control and ownership of the means of production. Some of you say, well, wait a minute, he said it's an option. The way it's figured is every time someone uses Medicare, they purchase those services at below market cost. They purchase those services at about 80% of the cost for Medicare. That means when you buy private insurance, you have to pay more than the cost of health care to make up for all those that have purchased uh, health care at, at uh, below cost. The more you have in the way of Medicare, the more you need to subsidize it from the other end. And exactly what he's talking about is not a competition between a government program and a private program. What he's talking about is taking the private programs and have them subsidize the public program because they'll pay more and the public program pays less for the health care. And then he's adding a tax on the private programs as well. It's phenomenal. If you look around the world, if you say, this is a real question, let's take a look at how socialism has done compared to capitalism. We have a friend, Michael Moore, who made a little movie about it. His movie is to show how awful capitalism is. Take a look at the comparisons. When Castro took over Cuba, Cuba had the second highest per capita income of any country in Central and South America. Today, they're 24th. They've gone from second to 24th. Freedom really works. Incidentally, Argentina at the time was number one. And they tried socialism, and they dropped down the list as well. India and China, if you look at their economies, and you grab it in the dollars per capita income, in constant dollars, in the post-World War II period, they show no increase at all. They log along with no increase in productivity and no increase in income until they begin to privatize their economies and then they take off like a shot. The rest of the world has discovered our secret and our secret is the greatest resource that mankind has ever known. And it's the human spirit, that creative force that's in each individual. And what Republicans have done is figured out how to tap it. Give people a chance to keep a fair share of what they produce, and give them a chance to make the decisions about their own lives. And they'll be more creative, more productive than any people in the history of mankind. That's exactly what America has been. How ironic in this home of freedom that we would have government that's decided that the best way to do things is to have government dominate our economy. We hold this to be more precious than anything we have, and that's our freedom. It's greater than any asset, it's greater than any building, it's greater than any weapon. Because it reaches into the heart and the soul of each individual. And that's what this election will be about, and that's what our future will be about. When we go to a collectivist policy where individual freedom is not rewarded, or will we have the opportunity to make the American dream come true. That's literally what we are organized for. You didn't come here today because you're going to get a handout. You came here today because you want this country to prosper and do well.